NASA's Surveyor 2 was an unmanned lunar mission that aimed to land on the moon's surface and collect data about its geology, atmosphere, and magnetic field. The spacecraft was launched on September 20, 1966, from Cape Canaveral in Florida, and it was intended to be the second in a series of seven Surveyor missions. The spacecraft consisted of two main components, the spacecraft bus and the lunar lander. The spacecraft bus contained the propulsion system, power supply, and communication equipment, while the lunar lander carried the scientific instruments and was designed to make a soft landing on the moon. The mission encountered a problem when the spacecraft entered into an unexpected spin during the mid-course correction. The ground controllers lost communication with the spacecraft for about 30 minutes, but they were eventually able to regain control of it. However, the incident caused the spacecraft to miss its intended landing site by about 35 kilometers. Despite the problem during the mid-course correction, the spacecraft was able to enter into orbit around the moon on September 23, 1966. It remained in orbit for a few days before the lunar lander separated from the spacecraft bus and started its descent to the moon's surface. Unfortunately, the lunar lander crashed on the moon's surface on September 23, 1966, due to a malfunction in the altitude control system. The spacecraft bus continued to orbit the moon for a few more months before it finally crashed into the lunar surface on April 12, 1967. Despite the failure of the mission, Surveyor 2 did make some significant contributions to our understanding of the moon. The spacecraft's cameras took high-resolution images of the lunar surface, which helped to identify potential landing sites for future missions. The spacecraft also carried a seismometer, which was designed to measure the moon's seismic activity. Although the seismometer was lost when the lunar lander crashed, it was the first instrument of its kind to be sent to the moon, and it paved the way for future missions that would study the moon's interior. Another scientific instrument carried by Surveyor 2 was the Alpha Scattering Instrument, which was designed to analyze the composition of the lunar soil. Although the instrument was also lost in the crash, its design was used as a basis for similar instruments on later missions. Surveyor 2 was also notable for being the first spacecraft to use a radar altimeter to determine its altitude above the lunar surface. The instrument was able to provide precise measurements of the spacecraft's altitude, which was essential for the successful landing of future missions. The failure of Surveyor 2 was a setback for NASA's lunar program, but it did not deter the agency from continuing its exploration of the moon. The lessons learned from the mission helped to inform future missions, including the successful Apollo landings. Overall, Surveyor 2 was a pioneering mission that helped to pave the way for future lunar exploration. Despite its failure, the mission made significant contributions to our understanding of the moon's geology, atmosphere, and magnetic field, and it provided valuable lessons that helped to inform future missions. One of the main goals of Surveyor 2 was to test the lunar surface's bearing strength and soil mechanics, which would be important information for future manned missions. The spacecraft's landing gear was designed to sink about 20 centimeters into the lunar soil to test its resistance to compression. Another scientific instrument carried by Surveyor 2 was a magnetometer, which was designed to measure the moon's magnetic field. This instrument was able to confirm the presence of a weak magnetic field on the moon, which was unexpected given its lack of a significant magnetic field of its own. The Surveyor program was notable for being the first time that NASA had attempted to soft land a spacecraft on the moon. The successful landing of Surveyor 1 in 1966 was a significant milestone in the agency's efforts to explore the moon. Surveyor 2 was not the only mission in the Surveyor program to experience difficulties. Surveyor 3, launched in 1967, suffered damage during its landing and was unable to collect as much scientific data as intended. However, the spacecraft was able to survive on the lunar surface for over two years, providing valuable information about the moon's environment. The Surveyor program was ultimately successful in its goal of paving the way for future manned missions to the moon. The scientific data collected by the spacecraft helped to inform the design of the Apollo missions, which successfully landed astronauts on the moon between 1969 and 1972. The failure of Surveyor 2 also highlighted the challenges of space exploration and the risks associated with sending spacecraft to other planets. Despite the best efforts of NASA's engineers and scientists, unexpected events can occur that can derail even the most carefully planned missions. The Surveyor program was one of many space exploration efforts undertaken by the United States during the Cold War. The program was seen as a way to demonstrate American technological superiority and to counter the Soviet Union's successes in space, including the launch of Sputnik in 1957. The scientific data collected by the Surveyor program also helped to advance our understanding of the formation and evolution of the Moon.
The moon is thought to have formed about 4.5 billion years ago from debris left over after a Mars-sized object collided with the Earth. The Surveyor program was one of many unmanned lunar missions launched by NASA during the 1960s and 1970s. Other missions included the Lunar Orbiter program, which mapped the moon's surface, and the Ranger program, which attempted to land spacecraft on the moon. The scientific legacy of the Surveyor program continues to this day. The data collected by the spacecraft has been used to create detailed maps of the moon's surface and to identify potential sites for future exploration. In recent years, there has been renewed interest in exploring the moon, both by NASA and other space agencies. In 2024, NASA plans to launch the Artemis program, which aims to send the first woman and the next man to the moon. The Artemis program will build on the scientific legacy of the Surveyor program, using the latest technologies and scientific instruments to explore the moon in greater detail than ever before. The lessons learned from Surveyor 2 and other lunar missions will help to ensure the success of this ambitious program. In conclusion, Surveyor 2 was a groundbreaking mission that helped to pave the way for future lunar exploration. Although the mission was not entirely successful, it made significant contributions to our understanding of the Moon's geology, atmosphere, and magnetic field, and it provided valuable lessons that helped to inform future missions. The scientific legacy of the Surveyor program continues to this day, and its data will be invaluable for the success of the Artemis program and other future lunar missions. Despite the challenges faced by Surveyor 2, the mission was an important step forward in NASA's efforts to explore the Moon. The spacecraft's landing on the lunar surface marked the second successful soft landing on the Moon, following the historic landing of Surveyor 1 in 1966. Surveyor 2's scientific instruments also helped to expand our knowledge of the Moon's geology and atmosphere. The spacecraft's seismometer detected the first lunar quake, which provided insight into the Moon's internal structure and composition. Additionally, the spacecraft's camera system captured over 11,000 images of the Moon's surface, providing detailed maps of the terrain and helping to identify potential landing sites for future missions. The images also revealed new features, such as the presence of boulders and craters, that had not been previously observed. One of the challenges faced by Surveyor 2 was the limited communication capabilities of the time. The spacecraft was only able to transmit data back to Earth during brief periods when it was within range of NASA's Deep Space Network antennas. This made it difficult for mission control to monitor the spacecraft's progress and respond to unexpected events. Despite these limitations, NASA's engineers and scientists were able to adapt and make the most of the data collected by Surveyor 2. The mission demonstrated the agency's ability to innovate and overcome unexpected challenges, a trait that would prove valuable in future space exploration efforts. The failure of Surveyor 2 also highlighted the need for improved landing technology and navigation systems. In response, NASA developed new landing systems that used radar and computer guidance to help spacecraft safely land on the Moon and other planets. Today, the legacy of the Surveyor program lives on in the scientific data and technology developed during the missions. The spacecraft and instruments used in the program paved the way for future space exploration efforts and helped to expand our knowledge of the Moon and other planets. In addition to its scientific achievements, the Surveyor program also inspired a new generation of space enthusiasts and scientists. Many of the engineers and scientists who worked on the program went on to play key roles in later NASA missions, including the Apollo program and the Space Shuttle. Overall, Surveyor 2 was a remarkable achievement in NASA's early efforts to explore the Moon. Despite its ultimate failure, the mission provided valuable data and lessons that helped to shape future lunar missions and advance our understanding of the Moon's history and composition. Surveyor 2 was not only a scientific mission, but also a demonstration of the United States' technological and military capabilities during the Cold War. The mission was part of the space race, a competition between the United States and the Soviet Union to achieve milestones in space exploration and technology. NASA's success in landing Surveyor 2 on the Moon and collecting scientific data was seen as a victory for the United States and a sign of its technological prowess. The mission helped to establish the United States as a leader in space exploration and a competitor to the Soviet Union space program. The Surveyor program also had implications for future space exploration and the development of the Apollo program. The data collected by the spacecraft's instruments helped to identify potential landing sites for the Apollo missions and provided valuable information on the composition and terrain of the Moon. One of the key legacies of the Surveyor program was its impact on the public's perception of space exploration. The success of the missions captured the imagination of people around the world and inspired a new generation of scientists and engineers. 
The images captured by Surveyor 2 and other spacecraft in the program also help to create a new understanding of the Moon as a dynamic and complex world, rather than a barren and lifeless satellite. Today, the Surveyor program continues to inspire new generations of space enthusiasts and scientists. The scientific data collected by the missions is still being analyzed and used to advance our understanding of the Moon and its place in the solar system. The program's legacy can also be seen in the continued efforts to explore and colonize the Moon, including NASA's Artemis program, which aims to land the first woman and next man on the Moon by 2024. Overall, the Surveyor 2 mission was a pioneering effort in space exploration and a milestone in the United States' efforts to reach the Moon. The lessons learned from the mission helped to shape future space exploration efforts and continue to inspire new generations of scientists and explorers.